Hello, everyone. This is Colonel Kurtz talking to Laura Bakov. Hopefully, you have your name. Uh, <laughs> Laura B is what she goes by. And they're actually talking about the media aftermath. And the thing they don't get right is the fact that the media in, you know, en masse are against Johnny Depp. This is a serious business. Just a minute, let me bring things up here. Because if you notice, these ladies are talking with the media. First of all, more than 130 feminist groups signed an open letter to Amber Heard, supporting her. So they're actually, it's so important to them to demonize men. And they see Johnny, even though he's an exception to the rule, he's a very popular, high-level celebrity. They see even the exception to the rule getting away as a chink in the armor. And let me tell you something. This is our Discord server. And you see we have this uh, particular one called social media, or just media, period. Not social media, the regular media. And it's not just Guardian. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It just goes on and on and on. We've been gathering that the major media outlets that support Amber Heard and her violence against men. This is what this is about. This is goes beyond Johnny Depp, right? Uh, Laura B. and uh, Colonel Kurtz. This is about. The feminists seeing Johnny getting away as the average man getting away, even though the average man does not have his clout, right? So let's hear what the girls have to say, or the ladies, I should say. I know you're in your 40s. So do you feel like, so you've been at, the, well, a couple of things. First of all, I wish that I would have been paying as close attention in 2016 and, and, and from there on as you were, because there were such obvious signs looking back. Yeah, but something was wrong. I just Johnny Depp. I mean, I like some of his movies, especially like like some of the like Donnie Brasco and Black Mass, some of the yeah. extra movies and things. But I, he was just not really on my radar. And so when this happened, and she's you know she's walking around outside court. I saw the bruise and fake bruise or whatever, right? But the bruise and she's all crying and looking pathetic. And I, I thought, well, Johnny Depp does seem kind of like a weird guy, and you know she's too young for him. Like all of these. Yeah, all of us. It's not just you, uh, Colonel. It is both men and women have an outgroup bias towards women. So we don't, men don't even back other men up. We just say, oh, woman says something, it has to be true, just because she's female and the other person's male. That's it. Biases that now I, <laughs> I'm i so educated on, right? But at the time, I was just like everybody else, just like, oh, I bet he did or whatever, right? And exactly. All of us have to do that. Human beings have to be evolve beyond our instincts. That's true. I agree with that. And so um, it wasn't until he sued her that I changed my mind. And I, I've said before on my channel, I remember I was, uh, when I read his loss. Exactly. And that's why this Colonel Kurtz and Laura B is so important to feminists. They know as long as nothing's brought to light, that people can't make a proper decision. That's the point of this. Suit. It was like five in the morning. I was in a hotel room with my sister. We were traveling or I was visiting her or something. We were in a hotel room and she was asleep and I couldn't sleep. And I log onto my phone and I see on Twitter, somebody post something about the Johnny Depp lawsuit. And then like, I'm just under the bed with the, the uh -huh. phone in my face. And I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. It was heartbreaking to finally hear his words. Oh man. What and to, he was saying was going on. It was and to realize, and I was just, to, to realize I mean, I knew, I know that people lie and I know that people make up hoaxes and things, but to realize the lengths to which this actress that he had. Oh, by the way, uh, Colonel, I would swap out the word hoax for uh, attacking men or something. It's truly vicious and criminal. Married Amber Heard. And that's all she was to me at that point was this actress he married. To realize the lengths that she went to. I remember when I got to the part about her sister. By the way. It's not just the reason, one of the reasons why she goes to the lengths that she does is because, as you noticed, 
uh, she is supported worldwide by the feminist movement who's in charge. That's why she knows she has a full tank of gas. So, I mean, this is something you and Lord B should be tackling. Uh, by the way, I know you don't have to because as women, you will never be targeted. At any time you can ditch out of this, uh, ditch this and say, Oh, I was wrong. I'm sorry, all you feminist overlords. Um, I'm a woman just like you. You can get out of this. I can as a man. Sister fake punchy laughing about it. And I was just like, whoa, these people are like evil. <laughs> and that that thank you. Feminists are evil. Thank you. I appreciate that. Colonel Kurtz. It's about time someone said that. I finally got into the trial, thank God. Yeah. You gotta say feminist are evil though. That's is everyone. This is where the women always fail because they can't say feminism is evil without admitting that they are implicit in this, that some of this evil is a part of them because they allowed this. Knowing how men treat women like gold, that includes Colonel Kurtz and Laura B. here. Yes, yes. So um, how do you feel, I guess, last question, um, how do you feel now in the aftermath about the way that this stuff is still being reported in the media and the way that still a lot of mainstream figures are are, are talking about this trial and what happened? It's heartbreaking. It's not just some of these mainstream, you know, exactly. Where am I? Discord. Look, there it goes. It just keeps going on forever. Mainstream after mainstream. This should be frightening. It should be frightening ending. Man, look, I'm still going. It's, it's it won't stop. We this is we've been collecting this for about what six months. It's not stopping. This is a mere six months of us. Actually, I have to say, um, oh sorry about that. Um, one of the guys in particular has put a lot of effort. Oh, Cato here. Yeah, he's putting a lot of effort in this. And it's never ending. The, this should be very disconcerting to any man, especially, that all of the mainstream media, all of it, is against men having a fair trial. I mean, there are real victims out there. I mean, I'm all I Laura B. Sorry, as a man, I just can't stand their real victims for shit. The real victims are like point zero 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 one percent of whatever's going on here. The real victims here are the men being falsely accused, and that's what has to be held up. And this is why I don't trust women. By the way with handling men's issues. Men have to get on the ball and just stay, standard ground and say, no, these are false allegations. Men are the victims here, not women. What I can do is reiterate it. Seven juror members unanimously found she lied with malice. She knowingly lied. And that's what I'm going to rely on in my statement so that I'm not speculating. This is what we were told. And this that's true, Laura. But the fact is, feminist hate movement has control of the media. And you saying so doesn't mean anything if nobody hears your voice. They are the ones who are in charge and they have to be kicked out of positions of authority. This is what I had always believed. Um, and I'm so sad that after the verdict, this man that was falsely accused is still being dragged in the media. You know, everyone's disappointed. Right. So even just of course. And this is a big problem. It's not just the Guardian, right? It's every public uh, publication. And you too can afford to be unconcerned, but I as a man, Colonel and Laura can't be. This is frightening to me. This is like a black man finding out the KKK is in charge of an institution that everyone has to deal with. 
just lately today about the Xfente, I'm reading these articles saying that um, it was a huge success, except overclouded by depth. And then they actually add the what? sentence, wait, and they actually add the sentence, even though he won his defamation, he won. And they're still saying he should be ostracized. And exactly, I because it's a hate movement. You two ladies have to admit that Feminism is a hate movement, always has been a hate movement, not just this generation or this wave. It's all one giant wave. It's always been a hate movement, and people have allowed it. Women have allowed it because they have an in-group bias towards their sex. Men have allowed it because we have an out-group bias towards women. That's why no other hate movement like the white nationalists or the black nationalists or the KKK, no other hate movement has been allowed to prosper like these have, these, you know, these feminists have, because our psychology allows it as people. I think that's so wrong. And I also think it's misleading because if you look at the numbers, um, her- it's, You don't think it's misleading, it is misleading, right? Feminism is nothing but lies. Following is going up. His views are, are huge. The, the website slowed down, you know, almost crashed when they were trying because so many clothes were selling. What they're saying isn't what's happening in reality. It was so what? I mean, all hate movements lie, Laura B. And the thing is, BAP is a... He's in... How should I say this? He's an anomaly. Sorry, I'm going to screw up the word. Anomaly. In other words, us average guys don't have his clout. I do not have, Laura B., a, an army of women willing to back me up if I get falsely accused. So this is incredibly important to me. It was a huge success mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for yep. Rihanna. And yep. Rihanna believed what she believed and invited him on. And he was thrilled. He was so surprised and so excited. And he was great. He was great in it. Uh, oh, he was I awesome. Was, I thought that was really, I like, I have to say, in all honesty, I did like that appearance better than the MTV uh, moon <laughs> astronaut appearance. No offense to death. But uh, yeah, the Rihanna thing was cool. And, you know, I she's going to be laughing all the way to the bank, just like Dior has been with Sauvage, right. because they've been, haven't they been? But Rihanna doesn't matter. Rihanna's laughing all the way to the bank. Depp isn't. They are gunning for Depp, and they're like pit bulls. They clamp on, and they never let go. I would say they're even more than they're like alligators or crocodiles. Crocodiles clamp down, the and the bite, you know, pressure is the highest in the animal kingdom, and it clamps on. It just never lets go, and it tears its victims apart. That's what's going on here, okay? Now, Colonel, do you want to be like <laughs> Yellow Flash here? This guy who, who postures? Number one, when the AHPR machine fires up, all it seems to do is cause people to remember her again and make her stock drop. This is nonsense. This this yellow flash guy is a loser. Do you do you want to be like him, Colonel Kurtz? This woman has the backing of all of the mainstream media and the feminist movement who is in charge of everything. And they're going to keep going and they're going to outlast Johnny Depp fans. I, I, wanted, I want you guys to understand this. Um, Colonel and Laura B. These women, their whole lives are hating men. That's it. So you might have more in your life. Like, okay, I'm, I'm doing this Depp thing. Then I'm going off. I'm going to party. I'm going to do other things. I've got other things in my life. Their lives are 100% man hate. That's what they live for. You are not going to outlast them. So the only way to rescue men is to remove these monsters, and that's what they are, monsters, from positions of power and authority. It's that simple. Right.
Well, sorry, this is important. They're going to show that they're in denial. And like breaking records? Yeah, for... breaking records. So I don't know why the media keeps on insisting, pushing the narrative that's not holding up in the statistics. Laura B., you do know. You do know. These are a group of women. Feminists are just a group of women who hate men. And they're in charge. And so that's what's happening. So you know why they are. You and Colonel Kurtz won't admit that feminism is bad. So why are you even asking such a question like this? This is feigned ignorance, everybody. Laura B. and Colonel Kurtz, this is feigned ignorance on your part. And again, why I don't trust women with men's lives. We have to fight it on our own for this reason. This would include this latest one where Colonel Kurtz talks about low IQ media. Colonel, they aren't low IQ. They're simply hateful people. that hate, They hate men. That's what it is. Just had a number of documents drop in the Marilyn Manson defamation case. They were filed in court. Notice this is not depth. This is Manson. So it's another high status man going down. By a woman he treated like gold, by the way. Uh, by his attorneys. And of course, this is his defamation lawsuit against Evan Rachel Wood and Elma Gore. Now, I thought that the, some of the revelations in this in, in this latest batch of documents were just really astounding. And I already did a video on what I thought were some of the more shocking aspects. And you can look below, see I've linked to it. But there were just a number of things that I thought, surely the media, even though I know the media are totally biased against Manson. And in the if you know that they're totally biased against Manson, and you know that it's because of gender and gender alone. This shouldn't surprise you at all. Can for Evan Rachel Wood, just like they were for Amber Heard. I thought surely someone is going to see that there is some interesting shit here and they're going to report on it. Why would you think that? Colonel, it's not just you. This isn't just a jab at you. This is all of us, human beings in general are in denial. That yellow flash guy I showed earlier, he's in complete denial. Men are in complete denial and we're the targets. So of course your women are. But not really. And I guess that is a testament to the sign, uh, that is a sign or a testament to how much the media just are in total denial of the fact that Manson has a very compelling case against Evan Rachel Wood and that this is- They're not in denial. They're not people who got it wrong and just can't admit it. No, these people hate men and are after men. They don't want any man to get away. These women, or I should say, you know, these you know, people in general, Kurtz, they could, these feminists could let him off the hook and say, well, he's just an exception. But the average man, we can get him. They're such hateful people, they don't want anyone to get away. And that includes that another Amber Heard style hoax except it is a 2.0 on a bigger scale hoax it's not a it's not a hoax it's a lynching uh, this is what I really I think this is the proper terms switch out hoax with lynching and you got what it is than what Amber Heard did and if you're curious about that look at some of the other videos I've done I talk about that but here's the thing I was so irritated this morning to wake up and to see that not only was Radar Online the only one who picked up this, the, the more interesting, significant aspects of this story, of this latest legal filing? And good for them for doing that. But they were. I'm more than irritated. I am scared. You can be afford to be uh, irritated, Kurtz, because you're a woman. You can duck out of this at any time. I can as a man. I'm scared because the powers that be, it's not just, the, it's all of the media. The legal system and the education system taken over by hate movement and they're governing for all of us guys so you aren't going to suffer in the end i am we're like the only one and not only were they the only one but i saw that there were all these bullshit stories in the media about marilyn manson being washed up and oh marilyn manson is moaning about his career being over but they're not bullshit stories they're hateful stories you have to get the proper framing framing or to be more honest i have to get the proper framing you don't curse because you don't suffer from the fallout 
over and just basically a lot of people in the media and these articles dancing on Marilyn Manson's grave or thinking that they're dancing on Marilyn Manson's grave. Although I have news for you, he's still very fucking popular. His music is still doing very well. I'm going to correct you here. Marilyn Manson is still high status, but his best uh, music is behind him. I mean, I'm just going by everyone's career, right? Everyone has a peak and they put out their best stuff and usually it's over with, right? There's nothing wrong to say that uh, Marilyn Manson's past his peak. I wouldn't necessarily consider him has been, but he's past his peak. There's nothing wrong with saying that. It's just that they're attacking him because they hate him for his gender. That's what you have to hold on to, Colonel. His albums have been doing well for a long time. I'm not a Marilyn Manson fan, but I've looked into his looked into his career enough to see that he was not washed up, okay? It's just that he got hit in the fucking face with his gigantic Me Too Amber Heard style hoax. Yes, lynching, not hoax. And thank you for admitting it's the Me Too. Me Too is a criminal attack on men. Thank you. And it's taken him some time to get his bearings, but now he's fighting back. And now the truth is starting to come out. And it doesn't really matter how much you suppress the truth, mainstream media. I disagree, Kurt. It matters very much how much they suppress the truth. If you suppress the truth, people can't know what's going on. You are one of the few people that are privy to it. But... I'm telling you now, when I talk to my own relatives, most of them have no idea what's going on in the world. All they know is the mainstream media says, you know, Manson and Depp are evil people, and that's what they believe. So this is absolutely important. Because some of us are going to keep reporting on it. And when this trial hits, whether it, it probably... In Thank you for reporting on it. The only problem is we have to break through this ceiling because our voices are minimal and the mainstream uh, media is maximized. So we have to kick the feminist out of positions of power. In the spring, whether it's gonna be televised or it's not gonna be televised, we're gonna get the word out. The word will get out on the truth, the truth on this. But, but I wanna look at what I thought was probably the most obnoxious article that's come out this week about maybe that's come out in a long time about Marilyn Manson and it's not just the title of the the title is very important they admit they admit that is sexual abuse allegations you know how what is that expression I can't remember it but it's basically hiding underneath the truth right uh, when people say sexual abuse allegations, they hear sexual abuse, and that's how they do it. There's no reason for him, you know, to... <laughs> they're trying to say that he is an abuser, and it works. The article that I hate. But the article itself, first of all, it's terribly written. You couldn't pass ninth grade English with this article. I mean... Colonel, it doesn't matter about the quality of it. It only matters if, if their voices are heard. A poorly written article that's heard by everybody outstrips a great written article that's heard by nobody. There are just some basic, like, grammatical mistakes and punctuation mistakes. And, and I mean, it's just, it's just a crappy article. And so I think it's kind of interesting to write an article that is so poorly written and, and that the gist of that article is trying to point out, you know, how someone else is failing. Well, I'm sorry, but you, the writer, have failed in this article. Let's look at that. I disagree. If his is the only voice being heard, he's succeeded, Colonel. And this is what I keep hammering home. These feminists are successful. They're in charge. They're in charge. A more than 130 feminist groups signed an open letter. Where is the pushback voice? Nowhere. Look, Gloria Steinem, that disgusting monster, that subhuman, non-human. She's not even a human being to me. Her whole life has been put at, as a hate movement leader, spearhead. That's been her whole existence. There's no one who's lower than this person.
Can you imagine? This has been her whole life, is hating on men and succeeding attacking men too. Right. And I think I've shown enough that we can end it here, Bernal. And even though I'm talking to you in particular, this is just all these guys, everyone who doesn't realize or doesn't are in denial of how dangerous these people are and how influential they are and how we have to take them seriously. And we can't just be in denial and say they're silly or they don't matter or, or they've failed. They haven't failed. They're succeeding 100% all the time. The only one who has had any success is Johnny Depp, and that's why they're after him. They want 100% victory over the male sex. Okay, Colonel, thank you.